The IES also attributes the development to the stability of the city against the major currency such as the dollar. Research analyst at the IES, Magdad Mohammed, explains that despite the slight rise in price of Brent crude on the international market, prices of finished products have experienced marginal reduction. So for this price window, we expect that uh, competition will continue to work between the OMCs. That for this window equally, even though prices are not supposed to move anyway, if there's going to be some movement, it could be as a result of competition to see consumers buying for lesser and lesser because OMCs will want to keep their market share and playing within the, the range. Cost of fuel for the second pricing window in August went up by about 2%, with consumers having to pay more for the same quantity at the various pumps. Prices of petrol and diesel shot up by 2% to 495 The increase saw consumers calling on the National Petroleum Authority to step in with the price stabilization and recovery levy. The anxiety saw some major oil marketing companies reducing their prices by about 0.4 and 0.5 pesos per liter. But Mr. Mohammed, however, says consumers will not be required to pay more at the pumps for this first pricing window in September. But for, for this particular window, the indices have changed slightly. Compared to the last window, there has been even reductions in the price of gasoline and a very marginal increment for gas oil. Gas oil. And the city over the period has also had some strength against the dollar. And uh, if you look at stock two, we already have a lot of uh, some quantities of, of gas oil in the system. So over the period between the last window, the August 15th to 29th, I guess, when we did this analysis, there were there, there were no uh, imports of gasoline, of, of gas oil, so there's gasoline, around 43,600 metric tons uh, of, 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 of gasoline.